Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. It's the morning of day 11. Just before the bell chimes, we're going to head out here in a second. I got a bunch of stuff melted in there. We got some coffee and uh, some red tea going in there. We're going to have to find some eggs today because we are a little bit short on food, which we'll find when we're out. We have a secondary pistol we're going to sell today. A little bit of scrap polymer. I forgot to sell the skull cap yesterday, which we'll probably sell. Uh, I'm bringing this with me today because I don't know if we're going to the snow biome and I don't have a parka or anything so it could be pretty cold up there. Now we've got the concrete still going here. It's got quite a while to go before it's finished. Nothing going on in the workbench. Um, now I do have one point to spend skill points wise and I think we're going to go into strength. We're going to start bringing strength up a bit so we can raise up Hummel Pete, raise up Sex Rex, raise up Master Chef. I think we need to get to the next level to start making meat stew and things like that. Because um, we can start finding, you know, we can make blueberry pie and things like that. So once we start finding other bits and pieces of food, we can do that. Plus we can raise up these as well, which we want to do. So uh, let's put the point in, straight into strength. And let's get the hell out of here. Now, I got a feeling, yeah, see... So the settings, uh, I think, are not fixed, but pretty darn close to being fixed. And I think I, it's just because I changed changed kind of the load distance. I just listen, it kind of lags here a bit. Um, so it's not loading so many far buildings anymore. So things should probably be a, a lot smoother. Now, I have no idea how to get up here because I didn't see a road anywhere that leads north. Um, as the lag slowly takes me over. So, uh, I'm going to have to be... You know what? We, before we go, let's take this car apart. We're at 40% fuel, or 44% fuel. Uh, but let's grab a little extra out of here. Because I don't know if we're going to... I mean, it's a fair distance. It's only... I mean, it's 2.7 kilometers. I don't know if we're going to run into any buildings or roads. I mean, we probably will. But just to be safe, let's grab some gas out of here. This should give us at least enough to get to the trader at the other end, and then uh, we should have more than enough to come back with, because we can just hit up cars there. Now, I did leave the bow out. 64% um, is not bad. I did leave the bow out now, so we're running with just the uh, the rifle. Oh, there is a road up here. We're running with the rifle and the um, AK, so that should be enough, I think. Um... Is this actually going through the water here, or no? That is, um... I just parted the Red Sea. I am God. Alright. I have... I have become thine lord. Oh, uh... We gotta hit up these on the way. See how many eggs we can find. It's gonna be a while. So, I'm gonna... Hit up bird's nests along the way, and if I come across anything interesting, I'll, uh... I'll come back, but... Until that... Until the point we reach another town, there's no point in, uh showing you stuff. Alright, so it does look like this guy is in the snow biome. Which I'm not particularly happy with. But, we have no choice. So let's go ahead and grab this. And we'll modify you. Because we don't really need the light at the moment. And we'll throw in the, the cap. It's going to give us a little bit more Cold resist, not much. What are we at now? Um, it's on this side. Uh, 58. Okay, so that might not be too bad then. I I mean, I'm not convinced it's going to be good, but we'll see. Alright, so going cross country, looks like we found the road. Now, I don't know if this goes right to that town, but my guess is it does. So we're definitely taking the long way around. I'm just going to turn and go across country. This I think the road probably does meet up with the town, but it's kind of going around this mountain here on the right. So rather than waste more time and just that, uh, of course, I say that and then the road like just <laughs> it just appears like right here again. Why do I even talk? All right, here we are. So this should be Joel. And of course there's a fucking bear right out front. Because why? what else would be out front? Oh, there's a boar too. Well, the one good thing about this though, we're going to go around the outside and come back in. Facing those guys. 
The good thing is, is it's going to give us an opportunity to see how much damage the sniper rifle can do, or the uh, Winchester can do against a bear's head. So at least we have an idea of how much damage we can do against it. Oh, there's the chem station schematic that we've already got. Alright. Now a little bit of stuff. A little bit more stuff. Hey, experience, how you doing? Oop. Still going. Good night. I keep wondering, I keep saying, oh, I don't know why the zombies are so much more difficult in the playthrough that I'm doing as compared to other YouTubers that I'm seeing that are playing on Warrior difficulty. And then I forgot I, I installed a bunch of uh, new zombies. So it's like, I don't think we hit his head. Ah, damn it. All right, let's get down there. Well, at least it's not drawing too many zombies. Oh, hey. That's five more shots. Another five. Maybe he'll kill that, that um, guy for me. The boar doesn't even get killed in one shot. That's a tough boar. Hey, buddy. All right, so that was four shots to the head. Now, um... Man, we're gonna be out of ammo before we even start today. I'm trying not to call attention to myself here. Finally. Now. Oh, he's inside. Yeah, I figured he'd get in. Those guys can fit through the, uh... I wonder if the bear hit him, though. Oh, no, he's not inside. I thought he was. Got him. Excellent. Because sometimes they can... Like, I know the wolves and stuff. At least back in my, um... Blasted Oasis series. They used to fit right between the bars. So if you had, like, a wolf come at you... He would get right in between here and kill you. If you thought you were being cheeky and were like, could shoot him from inside, it's like, nope. You screw you. Um, I could make arrows here, but I don't know if we're going to do that. All right, let's go see this guy. Now, we did loot everything here, correct? Pretty sure we did. All right, what do we got in here? Give me a wire tool. Oh, well, lockpit's nice. I'll take that. Howdy. Shh, I'm looting. Ooh, some oil. We need that. The SMG turret's going to take 46 steel. Uh, we can repair that. We'll sell it to him. So, yeah, the SMG turret's going to take 46 steel. So, um... That's going to be a lot to, uh... To build that if we want to get one before yeah, Horde. Or Cooking with gas. Yes. Yeah, I see your inventoire. How much is that worth? 400. Nice. Sell that. That. All this we can sell. I'll sell you this. I don't need the headlight. You won't buy the cloth, will you? Oh, you will. Yeah, I'll buy five. And testosterone. Uh, we'll sell you one. And hang on to the rest. Uh, I think that's it. Now, what do you got? You got a bunch of food here. Ooh, pump shotgun schematic. I passed over this before. I shouldn't probably do it now. Be nice to roll with a shotgun, although I should just grab this without saying. All right, let's see what you got in your secret stash here. Pistol Pete, volume 7. Pistols do 9... 9 mils do 10% more damage. Volume 4. 9 mils decrease slower. Ooh, to make purified water. Kind of don't need that right now. It's a nice book, but we don't need it. What I'd like is an SMG or the schematic. Uh, chem station for 15 grand. Once we get a beaker, we can just make one. 
Nothing there. Wait, how much oil did you have? 20. It's pricey though. Uh, Molotovs. 1300 for Molotovs. I'm probably going to buy those if he doesn't have anything else that I want. Ooh, the wire tool. Not that worried about a wild wire tool right now, but... Um, hmm. So I think it's going to be... What's this one? Diamond-tipped blades. I think we're going to take this. And then I'll think we'll take... Oh, you got shotgun parts. We want those. Um, bow parts. We need handgun parts for the SMG turret. So let's take those. And I know you had some more here. Yeah, we're almost out of money now. Uh, let's buy those Molotovs and we'll call it a day. Where are they? Uh, here, right? That way we don't have to make them. It's the oil I'm concerned about. We don't have a lot. and If we're going to make an SMG turret, then we definitely we need like 15 oil. Much for that, blood, so... Alright, let's go ahead and use you. Um... That sounds like you're inside. You are! How'd you get in? He probably, uh... climbed up on somebody. Kind of a tough bastard, just not tough enough. Um... Might as well get the XP. No stamina. They've been damaging themselves nice enough on here. Come on, get over where I can hit you. There you go. Let's take a cruise through his town here. Put a bunch of stuff in the bike. Should be good. There we go. Actually, let's keep the egg out so I know how many we picked up. Oh, hey, bud. Uh, yeah, I'll take the XP. We're freezing. That really sucks. So five hits to the face. Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Alright, um, let's go take a look around here. So this should be a massive city as like, like ours. It's gonna lag a little bit as we load in here. Maybe we find something interesting. Looks like we're right close to the downtown core. As the whole damn thing loads in. Chugga chugga chugga. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have made the cities this big. See, that kind of a park there, too, would kind of be a nice place to put the base. It's got water and everything in it, though. So that's not going to work. Okay, doggos. It's only because this city's loading for the first time. Alright, so I'm just going to head out of downtown. It's still way too chunky. That's fine. This is a construction site. Let's stop and pick up the stone here. Because we definitely need that. Let's smoke you. Grab this stone. I'm hearing a mountain lion somewhere. I don't see it. It could be one of the new game sounds, though. Notice there's a few sounds that sound like wild animals. Let's actually go see what's up here first. Yeah, there's like a few sounds in the game that just make it sound like there's wild animals and stuff around. So I always get freaked and I'm always looking to see if there's like some shit about to go down. Okay, now here's the highway. Highway. 
If that goes north. So I wonder if that hooks up there. Do we go for a drive? You know what? No, let's go back. I mean, we've connected with this trader. We know where the snow biome is. We can come back here a little later. We'll definitely find better loot in this town, but we don't need to do it right now. Let's get our game stage up a little higher. Oh, well, it looks like I found the wasteland. I made a wrong turn. It's like... Okay, let's do this. Because we haven't, I haven't shown you guys the wasteland yet. And how bad things can get in the wasteland. So let's go ahead. And get some gas. Oh, there's a town right here too. That's kind of interesting. We're going to wrench this car apart. Pick up some gas. And then we're going to go into the wasteland. Check it out. Just want to make sure we have enough gas to get out of this damn place. Last thing you want to do is get caught in the wasteland with no gas. If it was a later game stage, eh, I wouldn't be that worried about it. But since we've only got a certain amount of stuff, how many rounds do I have? 114 plus a clip. How much is that giving us? 46%. Should be fine. How bad could it really be? So is this a city or a town? I got a burn on us already. It looks like it's a city. So if we just go around the outside here, we should find a trader. Yeah, because that's those are downtown tiles. So there should be a trader here somewhere. Ooh, there's an ATM. I'm just tempted to go check that out. So that's not bad. Military zombie. Good thing Feral Sense is not on. That shit will get you killed real fast. Let's see if we can break into this ATM. Alright, we broke three lockpicks breaking into here, but... Ah, yeah, 581, not bad. Let's open for a little more. See if we can get this car wrenched. So yeah, the Wasteland, I mean, we. I, I do want to do a series in the Wasteland again. I want to do another Blast of the Oasis series, but until I'm able to like, I mean, I guess we could do it where we spend all the time in the same city. But part of the fun of the Blast of the Oasis was having to find your way around like outside of the city, you know, like getting through the wastelands to try and get to different places. That's half the fun. So, I mean, while it would kind of be cool, I would kind of wait, like to wait until I'm able to get a, a new map generator that'll allow me to at least do that. That's the one drawback I find of the, of the new map gen. It looks great. Um, but the... But the issue I find with it is that it doesn't give you the option to just do, like, all of one kind of biome. So if you wanted to play, like, in just the green biome, you could. Or if you wanted to play in, you know, just the wasteland, you could. That's the only thing it doesn't really offer you. But, I, I mean, I guess it's fine. All right, see if we can get some ammo back here. There we go. Nice. Now take this apart for the steel. We do need a crucible schematic, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of looking for this trader, although it's probably gonna be like nine grand, which we don't have now. We've only got 
33-33. But if we did find the traitor here, and we just did, and he does have a crucible, then maybe, just maybe, we hang here. Probably not the best place to be at our level though. Alright, that's a little bit of money. Alright, let's get in here. Alright, we're pretty loaded down actually. Let's see what we can fit in the bike. Now that was the shotgun schematic. Let's keep this on us. I hear him. Don't worry, I hear him. Come on in here, buddy. Oh, hey. That was cheap. Deal with these guys one at a time. Man, this guy's like... Imagine if this was like insane difficulty too. Like, how many hit points these guys have is just ridiculous. And then if he was feral, right? Stop! Stop it! Now where's that dog? Three hits, four. Four hits for a dog. Ooh, the rifle's got six rounds in it. Usually the ones I've found have had five. I'm gonna take the sand. All right, I'm gonna search this place, sell stuff to him, and then um, hopefully we get enough stuff to be able to drop that. Hopefully we find enough stuff in here to make it worth our while. So this is bad enough, but imagine this being Darkness Falls. That was a cop. There he is. We dropped a bag too. Did he? He did. Think I can sneak out there and get it? There's a bear here somewhere. Okay, worth it. All right, let's eat this food. Because we're starting to get a little hungry here. Hopefully I can find some food in this place. Close that in case somebody gets over the wall. Oh yeah, we don't have our light. Okay, so not a lot downstairs. Let's see what's up here, a little bit of paper. Ooh, some sunglasses. Now are these are the tough guys. No, they're the shades. Perfect. I think now we've got a, one of each. Let's just scrap those guys. Go ahead and use that. Didn't get any more food, eh? Well, yeah, he's got a vending machine, so we have to buy some. We can buy some. Alright, let's go see what he's got for sale. And I bet you any money he's got a crucible. Because that's just how it rolls here. Oh, man. Nothing here that uh, we can borrow from. Although, let's try and get your save. How many lockpicks we got? Six? Okay, we broke four, I think, trying to get in there. No, three. So not bad. And he's got garbage. All right, uh, what do you got for inventory, buddy? Cobble, I think we're probably okay for cobble now. Um, Fireman's Almanac. Robotic Drone Morale Booster Mod. Teach you how to craft this item. Does that boost my morale? Or everybody's around me? Fireman's Axe. Don't need. Grave Digger. Uh, we could use, but I think we're fine with what we have. Definitely taking your gunpowder. Uh, no Crucible, huh? Well, it's probably for the better. It means we don't have to stick around now. Um, it's cheap. I'm buying it. What else do we have? Nerdy goggles. Wait, what are we wearing? Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. We don't have anything on. Why did I think we had... 
That is so bizarre. Um, where are your nerdy goggles then, man? Three grand, though. That's like all our money. But I think it's worth it. I think it's totally worth it. We'll sell that. How much is this worth? Want to just sell it? Um... Probably better if I repair it though and drop a mod in it or we might play around with it to see how well it can uh, function although there is something very satisfying about using that baseball bat oh man I don't know um, yeah I think thanks we're good for here. yeah Come thanks here. for being here uh, let's see the map here real quick so let's mark you on the map and then let's mark the other guy on the map, which is right here. Um, so these two cities are right next to each other, which is kind of a good thing. Now my question is, is can we... I wonder if these highways go south. Because it would be nice if they connected, all connected up here. Uh, but I guess we gotta... I mean, we got a bit of time before we gotta leave here too though, right? So let's get on the motorbike and have a quick look because there's more right there. And which town is that? That's not part of the same town, is it? It can't be. Or can it? Oh, there is a road that goes south. On you fucker. I don't like getting off my bike. Oh, you... I should have this out. Cop. Well, um... As enjoyable as this place is... Oh, for fuck's sakes. This is what I mean about the wasteland. It's just frustrating as hell to be here on a vehicle. Unless you're barrel like barreling through here. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go south. Um, I'm just not in the mood at the moment to deal with this shiz. Okay, so there's a crossroad here. And this goes south. Let's hope this road goes where we want it to. Maybe we find another town on the way? Maybe? Oh great, now we're soaking wet and we're going to be going into the friggin' snow biome. Oh, no we're not. Look at that. Ah shit, another bird. Where are you? There you are. You're stuck. Don't barf on me! I don't like that. Well, at least he was easy to kill. Alright. Don't get off your bike in the wasteland. Let's go. Excuse me. Oh my god, so many roads. I don't even know which way to go now. Southeast. Excuse me! He deserved that. Oh man, does this go back into the... I don't even know which way to go now. There's so many, like, roads just... Chris, I think we're on the right one. In theory. Let's grab this car. Just so we have a bit more gas. This guy's still coming for us, though. Yeah, it was me that ran you down. And she's pissed too, still. I don't like the, uh, sight. We're gonna have to get a, a two-time scope. Make it a little better. Okay, stuff in the bike. Let's get moving. 
right back into the wasteland, because why not? Why do I have a bad feeling we're just going to get caught out here in the middle <laughs> of the night? We're going southeast, not south, and it looks like it's all mountains to the south. So I don't think we're going to be driving across country in the wasteland. Oh, this dog deserves this. Okay, so theoretically there should be... This is a place where a trader would normally be. Oh, wait, is this the trader we were just at? Can't be. No, because this is Jen. Ooh, another trader. That's nice. All right, I'm going to loot this place and then we'll go talk to her. All right, well, the one thing we were supposed to get today was eggs, and we haven't really been doing that. Uh, let's just scrap this real quick. Uh, I did find a few things, but not much. We got this. We can sell her. Uh, we need to get some food before we go, and let's go ahead and put in this guy now because I think we're probably pretty much done with the snow, and I'm having a hard time seeing here. It's really dark in the wasteland. Man, it'll be a really dreary series if we do do another uh, Blasted Oasis. Because the wasteland is just so sad. Alright, what do you got? Um, not jobs. Inventoire. Let's sell you. Alright, uh, we don't have much. But it's just interesting to see what she does have. Hunting rifle. No big deal. Pistol Pete Volume 1. I want an SMG schematic. Do you have an SMG schematic? Oh, that's the only thing I'll take at the moment. Oh, you got a cigar. That figures. Can we make a thousand, do you think? We sell that. We got forged iron. Thanks we can make for letting me take duct care of tape. You. Um, tell your friends. Craft one of you. And then we can craft one of you. And then we can repair this guy. So we can sell that. Do we have anything in a bike to sell? That's a question. Okay, let's repair you. We can just go ahead and sell... Um, sell those. Um, let's see here. Yeah, 45, 300 and something. That's 900. We could get enough. It's 100. Don't want to sell it if I don't have to, though. These guys can go for 35. Um, motor tool parts. We can eventually... I mean, we want to make an auger, but that's going to be a while down the road, so... Let's go ahead and sell that. Rifle parts we can sell. Springs can go. Um, I guess we're going to be into these now. 102. Six. We should go see what we have in the bike. I hope you come back and see me. I'll be sometime. right back. Just hold your horses. Actually, I better check before. Uh, I thought I had glasses on and I didn't. I better check to make sure I don't have a uh, cigar already. Sell those guys. You can sell the plastic polymers. Maybe the battery? Put those in there. Um, definitely, definitely going to keep. We don't have a firearm to put that on. I mean, I guess I could sell the 44 rounds because we're not really going to be using them. Is there anything in here we can get rid of? The pipes, probably. Just scrap this and we can put those guys in there. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, we could sell the iron arrowheads. It's not much. Scrap this stuff. Let's put the water back in. I mean, there's not much in here to sell. Leather, I guess. That should be pretty close, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Should buy a bit of the cloth, probably. I mean, I guess I could make a bunch of duct tape and sell the duct tape. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. I gotta save a bit of coin at least buy some food for the way home. Crying out loud. And I, I don't even know the way home yet. Um, okay. 96. 40. 800 for the battery. Perfect. 
I might as well just sell that too. Uh, okay, so you got 40 gunpowder, which we're going to buy. And ooh, I shouldn't have bought that until I got the... Where are you here? This guy. I hope you get feeling better. Alright, well, that gives us the plus one strength and better bartering, so let's wear that. And we can just sell her this. Actually, you know what? Um, we really need to get away from the ridiculous red clothing. Like, I mean, honestly. <laughs> modify you. Pull that out. And we'll just go ahead and scrap this for the paint. Ah, we're starting to get there. Alright, um. I see your inventory. We can sell you this. Alright, what do you got? What else do you have that we can buy? You got 600. Oh, I got 600. Sorry. Definitely worth getting that. Uh, oh, you got a beaker too. <laughs> Shit. All right, we got to go get some stuff then. We got to buy your beaker. We got to buy your beaker. So I got to go get some gack and come back. Sell that. Sell that. I just knew you'd find um, something you'd like. How much are the, how much are you going to pay for the 58? Okay. Thank We're you so much. About halfway hey, there. Come again. All right, that's a cop. There's trash. I want to try something here. It might be a bad idea. This might be a really bad idea. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. It's this one? No. This one? Come on, bring it in, buddy. You want to do it, do it. I think this is the one that's got the main stash in it. Nope. Is it that one? It's this one. Man, it radiated. That figures. I don't have my rad remover. Plastic. This is the one that's got... Yeah, there it is. Okay. I think good. Ooh, military gloves, which I probably want to keep. What do we got in here? Some wood. Ah, oh, crap. That's not going to give us enough to sell. Do you think we can get away with wrenching this? It's going to give us a little bit, but not much. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, there's a workbench here. This car could drop a battery or something. I heard you, you little buzzard. Really? Okay. Um. Buzzard should be laying off me at the moment. There's a bear right there. We should be able to get three or four wrenches in on this, though. Oh, there's some parts. Ooh, engine and a battery. What level is that battery? Five. That should be enough. Alright, let's go back to her. Keep this out. Because, bear. Ow! Oh, you got a piece of me, that bastard. Nice one. Barely played. Fuck off. I need a beaker. Meds? Drugs? I need it all. Uh... <laughs> 
All right, how much is that? Seven twelve. Let's sell that. What does that give us? Fourteen hundred. That's enough for the beaker, right? Uh, where is it? There it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's sell a little bit more here because we need to make some money for food. Those we can get at any time. 193, that should probably be enough. I want to keep the engine. You can just go ahead and scrap. Oh, I'll just sell it. Why not? For one. Alrighty then. Alright. Stay safe out there. You stay safe too. Alright, let's get some food for the ride home if you got any. Chicken soup? Sure. Man, you got like nothing. I'm eating dog food on the way home. I think I got a, um... I think I got a bacon and... Uh, do I have a bacon and eggs in the bike? I may not. That gives me a little bit. Um, uh, scrap you. Does she have anything? If she does, it's gonna be expensive. Uh, you, what's your inventory here? Food-wise... You got vegetable stew for 275. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. Really? It's all the rage where I'm from. Alright, we need to go south. So it's this way. And the question is, though... There's no road south. All right, where are we going then? Back that way? Let's get out of, at least get out of the wasteland before nightfall. Because I have a feeling, as bad as it is now, it's a thousand times worse when the sun goes down. All right, so we're out. Let's actually just start heading home. I think we're okay here. I think we should probably... We got the motorbike. We got enough gas. I'm gonna freeze my ass off, though. Stop here for a second. Alright, let's, um... Do that. Put the engine in there. Bring this out. It'll help a bit. A bit. And then we can see if we can get some honey to eat here. If we need... Oh, we should be fine. Alright, let's go. This place has got some stone. Yeah, you hear that? There's like a little growly kind of like... It almost sounds like... If you're in the mountains, like a, a couple of rocks falling down a cliff face. And I don't know if that's the uh, mountain lion or if that's just the sound that, it, that the snow biome makes. It freaks me out every time I hear it. Ooh, there's a path here. Let's see where this goes. I love how they've changed the size of these paths too. So some of them are really small. Some of them are really big. But they all lead someplace. So if you follow it, it'll take you somewhere, which is kind of cool. There's nightfall. So that was a pretty fruitful run. We didn't really get any food. I gotta say, man, though, this reminds me of, this totally reminds me of the Blasted Oasis ser series when we, the fog would roll in. You couldn't see a couple of feet in front of your face. This really feels like nighttime driving now. Like the atmosphere is just so wonderful. Like they did such, just such an amazing job with like everything in this game. Compared to the last, like, Alpha 19 was a great upgrade, or, yeah, upgrade from Alpha 20, but the, the leaps and bounds that they've pushed forward um, in this particular one, wow, that was just amazing. Look at that, the reflections in the water. I thought for a second there we were going into the desert biome. I don't know how many zombies we're bringing back to our place here. Passed by a few of them. All right, let's get inside. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm going to get everything stored away. Uh, figure out where we're at for tomorrow. So tomorrow will be day 12. Um, we've got the beaker now. I think all we need is one more tub of acid and we can make ourselves a, um, a chemistry station. 
which is something we've been pushing for for a little bit here. Um, I mean, we weren't really um, trying to get it right away, but now that we've got uh, the ability to um, put one together, um, definitely it's going to be opening opportunities for us. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Get stuff put away. And then uh, tomorrow when we come back, uh, we'll probably take some quests from the trader. Uh, some tier 3 buildings and stuff. Because I don't think we're going to be building a base before Horde Night. It'll have to be between... Um, it'll have to be between uh, the second Horde and the third Horde that we'll put one together. Uh, just so that we can do it right. Um, and we should have all the materials by then. That way I don't feel so rushed and like, you know, forget to do some things and then we end up like, you know, dead. I'm trying very hard not to die in this series. <laughs> I don't want to die. So all right, we're, set, we're at 1800 already, which isn't too bad. So we're definitely going to have to find some more ATMs downtown, I think. Um, we should have enough stone now to, to do all of that sand. And... We do. So let's just quickly before we leave. So that gives us 1150. So 1150 plus what we have in here. So it's for 4200, which I think is perfect for making the base. So I think we've got enough now. The cobblestone can go on stuff that's up or up high in the some of the inside blocks. Because um, we can get access to those and reinforce them later, so those can go on the inside. So let's look about look at taking a quest tomorrow, like a tier three quest, uh, going downtown, and I think we will build it over one of those the the sewers that I know, just because it's it's the best place to build it, from what we've seen. And then uh, we'll choose which one we're going to build it over, and then go clear the sewers, uh, and then set up roughly where we're going to build, be building the base. And then I think if we can get uh, ready, like we'll have to choose maybe the tier three building, whichever tier three job we do, that'll be the building we hold the horde down in. But I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.